The Troc skin in Fortnite. We are going to draw this today. There is going to be a pencil illustration and as well as a marker illustration for you guys. So before we begin, make sure you guys smash the subscribe button to help us reach 200,000 subscribers. You're very close to it. Once you guys are subscribing, make sure you guys click on the small notification bell, which is right next to it, to be notified for all the videos on the channel whenever we upload it. And also make sure you guys give this video a big like because that would show your appreciation towards the hard work that we put in in all these videos. So go ahead and like this video. So with that being said, let's begin today's video. Are you guys excited about it? So let's go. So first of all, I hope you guys are with me on this one and you have a pencil, eraser and a piece of paper with you. So I hope you guys are with me. So I have used a marker and I've started with a simple curve in the beginning. So that's a simple curve and from the initial point we make another small curve. So this would be the top of his hair on which is on top of the mane of the trog skin. So we complete the arc by making another curve and now it kind of looks like a small little Dorito, doesn't it? So now what we are going to do from the center of that position, we are going to draw an inverted mirror J, a curve on the opposite side. Looks simple, looks like an umbrella, doesn't it? And from the other side, we are going to draw another curve as well. So just follow me through the same. If you want, you can slow down the video on YouTube or else you can just go back and draw with me. We're going to make a big U, a big U, a big flat curve to make the bottom side of his jaw. So three curves and we have the simple structure of the face with us. So if you want, you can erase, you can pause the video if you're going anywhere wrong. So we are making another curve from the initial point of the hair from where we started. So two curves from both the sides and that's how we are going to do it from here. From there, we're going to make a small cut, making a straight line, and then we go for another curve. And the same thing, we're going to do it over there to make another curve on the other side. One curve there, one curve there. That's how we do it. And after that, we're going to make a small cut right over there. Now this one can be a straight line or either be a curve. Then we make a small line right over there. Small line. And then we make a small curve to make the jaggedy edges of his mane. And then we make a small line again. And then we make another curve to make his upper hair of his head. Like his whole beard thing. I, I really love the skin to be honest, the Yeti skin. So now these type of drawings are perfect for making greetings card or giving something to your friends, to your Fortnite friends and during the time of Christmas. So you don't really need much colors. The only colors you need is just a blue color. And that's all you need. You can use your pencil colors, you can use your oil pastels, you can use oil paint, you can use watercolor, poster colors, anything you guys have, acrylic colors, and you can use anything to color. So we make like two big curves on either of those sides to make a shoulder and his hands. So I hope you guys have followed me till this far. So from there we make another small straight line and then we make a small curve right over there from there we make a big curve which is like the shoulder strap the shoulder fur for the choke skin we make a sm few small curves one after the other just follow me through the same pause the video just draw the curve pause draw the curve pause and watch me through the tutorial because yeah at the end we are going to have the trog the funny skin in fortnite with us so from the other side we are going to continue with the same and we are going to make his fur, which is, uh, which is sitting on top of his shoulder. From there, we are going to make the rest of the curve. And now you guys can see I'm making the curve slowly, one at a time. Don't rush. If you, if you will rush, if you don't follow the steps, you will go wrong. So follow me through this video as I take you through the steps on how I am doing it. Like the straight lines. Now, did you guys see the curve that I made at the last was extended? Now I draw a straight line from the left side of his arm. Now keeping that much distance in hand, not starting from that point, we are going to make a curved line again to make his hand. Now make sure this is a curved line and from that point onwards, we are going to make another curved line and which probably look like an inverted V. Now from the other side, from that point onwards, you make another curve, like which will be his belly. So now, using 
my pencil I'm going to show you how much distance is there between this and the main so that's the main and the pencil and that much how the distance is like now you can differentiate like the distance which is there from the shoulder hair to till his body so now we're going to make his chest it's just two curved lines very simple now what we're going to do we're going to continue with the other side of the hand so from that point onwards from this point exactly from that main we're going to make a curved line i hope you're following me through this now from the other side we're going to make another curved line this will be the second curved line for our hand and from there we're going to extend this first line into an incision line and from there we're going to make a straight line and go all the way down there now this would be his uh, like lower hand now from here we're making the fur one after the other one fur and then we extend it to the end of the hand and then we're going to go ahead and make the wrist but from the other side we need to complete the hand so that you would have an understanding of the perspective so on the other side we make a small hand okay make the fur curvy lines one after the other like all these curves it's up to you. you can change the direction of the fur if you want to and that's completely up to you and it's your freedom so a small incision over there and a curved line right over there and from from this side we're going to make another curved line to give the perspective of, of his hand you know tur fully turned now this would be his fur ladies and gentlemen so from here we are so both our hands are done now the only thing is left is just the wrist the fingers and everything so right now we're going to go with the hips and now we're going to make the fur one after the other small furs ride after each other keep on doing and continuing the same now the pattern of these furs is not is very independent you can do it in any direction you want you can follow this video for better results so right now we're done with the upper part of the body so we're going to go ahead with the hand so now we make it a curve an inverted J okay a curve a proper mirrored J and on the other side we make two straight lines to make the thumb from there we make a parallel line and we make a small dot right at the end now from that point onwards we make a straight line two straight lines to make the finger straight lines straight line straight line straight line there you go you have a hand the trog hand right at its place a very simple one now i'm doing it with a marker if you want like proper precision you can use a pencil to draw this okay now from the other side i'm making the finger so very easy isn't it so from the other side we are going to make two straight lines to draw the other side of the finger so one after the other two straight lines now we will be joining these straight lines to give it the perspective of bended fingers now you can use your colors to give it more perspective and there you go so you have both the fingers right over there it looks easy and simple doesn't it now from the other side we're going to make his trousers now the flow of the trousers can be of anything so it can be like curvy lines straight lines whatever you guys like so it's up to you so i'm, I'm going to show you how it looks like so both these curve curvy lines and make sure like it should be like in a very thin uh, on top but from the knee point onwards it should be a little bit broad because he has like in a very you know, like loose pants so just to give it that feeling so Make sure these lines are very curvy in nature so that it gives the illusion of like very you know, loose pants which are there. Now as you guys can see it's pretty wide down there. We are going to make his cute belly button down now. Now it's already started giving us the effect of the trogue, the skin. So we are going to go with the eyebrow. So like you know, a, a two curved lines joined together. So it's a unibrow. <laughs> and now we are going to go ahead and make the eyes and the lips. So we can, we can make it into happy character and uh, like I'm going to portray the same one which is there in the game. So I'm going to go with the game character. So like two circular things for his eyes. I use, usually use a pencil uh, to make the eyes. But over here I'm going to use the marker because it's, uh, you know, it's not so defined. So it will be easy for the illustration. Now for the eyes you can use like two dots like on any, any side of his eyeballs just to make it look funny and uh, you know goofy. 
So I really love this skin and I'm pretty sure like your friends are gonna enjoy it as well if you give them something like this on a greetings card or like some sort of Christmas card for them as a gift. So, so now to give it some more details what you can do you can put in some lips or you know like the eyelids or whatever to give it some more details or you can I would especially ask you guys to use colors to give it those details we are going to go ahead and make the fur of the whole skin as well I've also made the Nogob skin the Christmas skins on this channel the link skin from the battle pass the tier 100 skin from the battle pass on this channel so I urge you guys to check it out for yourself once you guys check it out for yourself, you will definitely be feeling sure and feeling happy to draw those characters as well. So feel free to check it out on the channel. And now we are going to go ahead and make the fur. Now make sure like the fur should be in the same direction, like the pointed pointy side should be always facing downwards to give it the feeling of the fur. As you guys can see, it's already feeling like that he is wearing fur and not some other cosmetics. Now we're going to do the same with his hands and his legs. So as you guys can see, it's giving us the feeling, the, the the description, the exact details of someone wearing a fur. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys give this video a big like, share this video with all your friends and ask them to draw the same and ask them if how their drawing is like. Maybe you can have some competition to draw Fortnite characters after watching my videos. So that's a good way to have fun in Christmas and to do things together. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel because once you guys are subscribed, you will be notified every single time I'm drawing a new skin in Fortnite or, you know, I am doing anything related to Fortnite or Fortnite videos. So it will definitely be a lot of fun. So we are going ahead with drawing all these furs on his body. Now, how cool it looks. Now, think about it. Like when you do it with colors, how funny he's going to look, ladies and gentlemen. So now I'm going to make a small eyelids with a brown sketch pen. You can use any colors you like, you know, anything that you're comfortable with. You should always use all the colors that you're comfortable with because colors at the end doesn't matter. Your imagination and the things that you have in your head, that counts. Now I'm going to do a pencil illustration of the Trogue skin and how it looks when you do a pencil illustration. And after that, I have done some coloring. So I made the video short so that the illustration becomes easy for you guys to understand. So right now I'm going to show you how it looks like when you use some watercolors and some other colors to put some from you know like good things in there. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. That would be the Troke skin in Fortnite of season seven. Well, my name is Tamasha Barra. Check out the videos which are appearing on the screen right now, and I'm going to see you guys soon on my next video. So you guys have a great day ahead and Merry Christmas.